What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we'll be slaying this beautiful pixie cut from start to finish. And you're gonna see how I transform this wig. I'm gonna install it and style it from start to finish. I even left out my own real sideburns today and I kind of like the way that looks. This was a minimal effort install, so if you are a beginner or intermediate and you just don't know what to do with a pixie cut, because it kind of looks awkward when you first put it on and you'll see the next clip, I'm gonna look a little bit crazy with this one. And if you're interested in seeing how I got this look and style and all of that, keep on watching. Okay, love bugs, really quickly, the wig came from Genius Wigs. They sent me instructions. They also sent me this beautiful hand note. I love working with a lot of companies, especially with women who are in different countries and we kind of embrace each other. So I really felt really, really, really loved with that note, but I won't read it because it was kind of personal, but that is the beauty of working with a lot of these companies for so long. So as you guys seen in the intro, this is a pixie cut and this one looks like straight out of the packaging. Now I kind of sort of want to co-wash her just because I feel like it'll make the curls pop. So this is the inside construction of the cap. When you see a closure wig, you already know it's gonna be super simple and easy. And then the lace looks like it's really good for my color. The knots appear to already, no, 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 the knots are not bleached. So a great idea is to go ahead and bleach the knots and in the meantime, use a very moisturizing shampoo and conditioner to make sure the curls will pop. Let's go ahead and care for my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and braid it into my pop smoke braid. You guys know it's three on each side. And then I'll be back to put her on and you're gonna go ahead and cut the lace with me and all of that. Baby girl, you're so fine. I can't get you off my mind, Ooh, girl. Okay, love bugs. I'm watching my girl Peyton, but I went ahead and did my pop smoke braids. Rest in peace, pop smoke. Now I'm gonna do this dynamic duo, which is of course two bobby pins. I probably could just use one because sometimes bobby pins start hurting. You got, you know, I pull everything back and I just kind of make it a mini flat as I can, beehive as tight as I can back here. So you see, I only have one in there. But because I'm putting the cap on. I just catch it. I'm just gonna take these straps in the back and adjust them. I always take them to the center to meet um, because the nape of my head is pretty narrow. So that usually works. Now let's see if this wig fits snug enough. Oh, when they said pixie, they really meant pixie, right? So the wig definitely fits um, tight and snug enough not tight like it's pulling or hurting anything snug but not um crazy but as you guys can see we definitely are about to play around and have some fun here is um a picture of the mannequin it's probably not focusing for you guys as well but they also have it as like a semi side part where it kind of matches up with the eyebrow so now that i see the assignment um, and I know what I'm getting into. Like, isn't she so beautiful? She also has a, as a side part. So, I mean, you can kind of already tell with the way it flows, it's meant to be a side part, but I just wanted to make sure. So now that I, under I understand the assignment, let's go ahead and get to work again. I think I mentioned, but in case I didn't, the knots do need to be bleached on this one, but you guys know I like to represent for my young ladies who may not necessarily want to or feel like bleaching the knots, or maybe even you don't know how. So one thing you can do with the hairline is kind of straighten it. I feel personally like when the hairline is either wet or super straight and like pressed out, it does make it easier to tweeze. I don't want to tweeze too much, but because I do want the hairline to look snatched, I do want to lightly customize. Again, this is going to be a quick install, so this here is not going to take away too much. Don't step on a trail. Now to make it a little bit more gradient, you can take like 
and part out what would be considered like the hairline um, section. Can you keep up with my tempo, tempo? Yeah, yeah, blow it up, C4. I just hit the mic jacks on all my tiptoes. Oh, yeah, I know we go wherever that wind blows the end of. Always a good idea to go back in and brush it. Now, as you guys see, I was like plucking and plucking and plucking and plucking. All that hair, most of it is like locked in there. So as I comb the hair out, once I take those clips out, you're going to be able to see all the hair that I actually pulled or tweezed out. Now, I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but I definitely opened it up a little bit. You'll see it better or it'll be more apparent once I go ahead and bind it down. Kind of because like the lace will like sh stretch a little bit and everything will be flat and laid. And then, of course, from there, we can go and decide if we want to bond down or if we want to part out um, or pluck out more. Now, let's go in. And one thing I do like, I like I always pay attention to detail. This hair piece almost feels like it's going in a weird direction, but I always talk about with closure wigs, this end piece where the lace ends and the actual wig cap starts. They kind of have a pace of hair or piece of hair trying to kind of like go over and cover that. Again, you can't really tell as much because the wig isn't bonded down and it's so dark, but let's just go ahead and do the cutting off the excess of the lace and bond it down. This is going to be a glueless install, so we're going to go simple with the products. Everything that I'm using is listed in the description box. Let's go ahead and do that and then we're going to figure out how to part it and style it to make it look super cute. I don't know if I'm okay. I don't see the light of day. Looking up to higher your crown. Thinking that'll be your sweet escape. These days gotta schedule the romance. They say that love is a slow dance. A short bike ride to the crib, using no hands, so did it feel like I'm floating? But I'm falling with both eyes closed when I let the world spin. Testing the water, she got my nurse tense. Back when I ain't even have a purpose. I was so eager to learn some things. Anxiety bring out the worst to me. Society paint me as enemy. My n***a's making it by that remedy. I'm more occasional, don't do it. Look, I'm up by my pledge, bitch. I'm decked up on blue bills. And I won't stop until the cash pit looks like fall leaves in the backfield. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bullshit. Quick to save my peace, I'm so after school special. She brainy, but them jeans looking like paint. I got a blessing. Niggas talk a whole lot, know it damn well, they really can't press us. I notated on leaflet. I'm really up a few levels with it. Like way, way out the way from them. Can't see me, you can't battle. Now we're gonna go ahead and style it really quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and use mousse. Actually, no, I'm gonna use my Cantu leave-in with some good old H2O. So let's see how this works together.
Okay, so I'm feeling this look now that I've kind of added the um, water and conditioner. So let's go ahead and do the dynamic duo. We're going to add the concealer so that it can stamp out the parting. Typically, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but it does make the wig not look as wiggy. And again, if you want to bleach the knots and tend the lace, that will be the more professional thing to do. But if you want to be a little bit more time friendly and also avoid making mistakes with your wig, you can also do this. All you have to do, you don't have to use a concealer that I'm using, although I will have it linked down below. But if you don't want to use the one that I'm using, if you already have one that blends with your complexion, um, preferably something that's not too warm toned, um, then you don't need to go out and buy anything. And you can just test a small area with the concealer you already have. And if you like it, use it. If you don't, try to find something a little bit more cool tone. I took it along the hairline and then you kind of will use a towel to blend it out. And we're going to do some powder along the hairline. I light up and ride off in sunsets and Corvettes Like I'm the plug and you don't know But why, why, why I do these things and I don't know Just trying to go and prove myself to be one of the best I can Yeah, I wouldn't want to let you down I care about the things you said It's just that I don't see yeah. Throwed up out the hills now Yeah, yeah, I've been running off for no reason Got me looking for something real now Sipping handy from the bottle, got my first meal now Nowhere do I run from, yeah, they don't even know where I'm coming from Now they all just wanna sing along Now they all just wanna come along Oh man, I wanna tap out now Just see your pants out now Book a flight to Japan right now I don't wanna be the last all around, no times right, I light up And ride off in sunsets Okay, so I'm kind of done with the look. Um, you're never done with the look. You can always go back in and play with it. You guys know when you go to the stylist, even with my husband, like, he gets his hair cut every two weeks faithfully. And as soon as he's done, he'll come home and still, like, cut a little piece or not a little piece. He'll do something with it. He come home after he come from the barber and he do something to himself. I'm like, why would you do that? Like, why would you not just have the barber get whatever it is? But I understand from the perspective of it. If I go to a stylist nine times out of ten or something, I would do a little bit different as far as like swooping a little bit of baby hair or whatever the case may be. But I do like what I did with the hairline. Now it's not sleeked and fleet. Hopefully you can see it. This lens has been giving me some trouble lately. Like I've been finding myself looking a little bit out of focus when I shouldn't but hopefully you guys can see I'll get some pictures of it if it's not um, up to par but as you guys can see for the teensy pink C bit that I did to the front um, as far as tweezing it out and then also adding the powder to it I think it came out awesome you guys seen before this I was wearing my natural hair and um, I already had baby hair going with my real hair or my real baby hair so I just left that and that looks good the only thing is that this the actual cap comes out a little bit further than the lace so i kind of did this swoop thing it kind of looks a little bit like ghetto gel down which i don't prefer so that's something i can go back in and fix typically whenever i'm done bonding the way down i go in with the elastic band and bond it down honestly that just will make a huge difference and like make the hairline look even better and then it'll also fix this like it'll help it to dry and flatten and just give a whole different vibe but I think you guys get the point in the picture with this one this is one of those ones you just keep playing with it um if you want you can take your tweezers and just cut you know if it's not exactly to your liking a pixie cut um it's already gonna come like with a set cut but for your head shape for your height sometimes you know if i'm 5'3 and you're 5'9 
you may find that like your your build or your shape of your head or what the case may be you may want to go in and trim it i'm sure that i can customize it you know even more but i do like the way it already is so i will be leaving it as is and again forgive me if i get out of focus i've been having some issues with my camera but yeah but all in all i do like this look i don't do pixie cuts often but when i do i do like this side to be pushed back more so and i think that looks good and i do like the way my natural sideburns look poking out there um and again if i find myself wanting to cut something that is the beauty of wigs i can come back tomorrow and you know chop it up and trim it up to be um even more of a pixie or just do whatever i please right so this is the packaging that the wig came in if i did not already show it and you guys already know um they gave a couple of stuff so this is a nice little actually i need this because you guys know I typically will use elastic around the hairline, but since I've been moving, as I've been mentioning, um, my hair has just not been laid. I've been looking really crazy. I've been kind of vlogging a little bit of the journey, a process of like finding furniture and all that. And honestly, if I hop up with all three kids and I got to get everybody dressed and everybody ready and out the door and we're trying to, you know, just go bust a mission and run some errands or clean or whatever the case may be it's nice to be able to put on your wig and just put something around the hairline if it's not laid if it's just sitting on top um instead of letting the hairline just look crazy right and then we don't want to leave the house apparently in our bonnet so it's nice to have like a nice piece of scarf or something that you can put on to kind of camouflage and make it work without having to you know pull out your whole you know hot tools and this and that they did give a piece of elastic this may be too short to um use as a wig cap or um, a wig band but it is perfect size to make this into um I'm all over the place this is the perfect size to put inside the cap to make your wig fit glueless baby hairbrush wig caps and then they gave a clip so that was really nice of them and as i mentioned they did um lisa from genius wigs also did give me a really really nice head handwritten note which made me so happy so i am going to reach out and thank her for this but i love 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 stuff like this so i'm gonna keep it forever be sure to check out genius wigs all the details this one are linked in the description box for length reference i believe this is six inches so it is obviously different inches like here is shorter than here per se as you guys already seen it is a closure wig which is going to be easier to install if i would not have been talking and if i didn't have to do the braid down in the beginning i literally could have cut the lace bonded it down tweezed out what i did threw some water some conditioning here and i really could have had this really on in like 15 maybe 20 minutes max um and that is the beauty of wigs being able to you know get in and out and not have to be here all day confused on what i'm doing let me show you guys what it looks like from the back And I do prefer a pixie on me like after I've lost like five ten pounds I've been you know getting comfortable and eating a lot so I would definitely say that I'm looking a little flabby with this pixie cut if you have a slimmer face it's gonna look even better on you but again don't forget to check out the description box for a links and list of everything I talked about and included in this video thank you guys so much for watching I'm Ashley B. Deck if you're tuning in for the first time don't forget to comment subscribe share this video with your friends and again I'll see you guys in the next one Smooches!